mother and daughter die after getting trapped in a sauna. Saunas are said to be great for your health, but spend too long in one and they can be deadly. As a Czech mother and daughter pair, age 64 and 45 respectively, horrifically found out on Sunday while using a friend's sauna. All seemed to be going well until they tried to get out. The door handle was reportedly broken or broke, trapping them inside the sauna. The pair then tried breaking the door's window, but apparently just didn't have the strength. The sauna's owner later found their bodies after some 90 minutes, and emergency responders declared the women dead at the scene. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Humans, animals, and all sorts have fallen victim to extreme heat. Florida man cooked to death in malfunctioning sauna. A 68-year-old Florida resident was literally cooked to death on Sunday when he somehow got stuck in a malfunctioning sauna room. The tragic chain of events occurred at the Eden Isles condominiums in North Miami Beach. Resident Dennis Antiporek left a note for his family before heading on down to the community sauna, which he used regularly to treat a chronic medical condition. He entered the sauna, cranked up the heat and sat down to relax for his almost daily soak. But that's when things started to go tragically wrong. His family believed the timer inside the sauna was broken and that the heating coils malfunctioned, causing the temperature to rise to unsafe levels that resulted in Antiporek collapsing and preventing his escape. After a few hours had passed, his worried daughter went down to the sauna to check on her father. But upon entering the steamy room, she said she mistook her now-cooked father for a dark-skinned man. <gasps> not realizing it was him until she went outside and saw his clothes on the counter. The family's lawyer said Antiporek had been totally broiled and that his skin had fallen off his body. He literally looked like jerky, the lawyer added. The sauna is now closed while the medical examiner and police conduct an investigation into the death. The condo's management association and company have so far refused to comment. Pet owner to press charges after her dog dies at a grooming store. Colby was a good boy. Yes, he was. But this poor doggy suffered an awful fate on Friday. Colby was essentially baked alive. Virginia resident Allison Marks dropped off her two-year-old golden retriever at a Petco grooming center in Chesterfield County on Friday. Colby was only supposed to get a quick wash, but as the hours wore on, Allison started wondering why she hadn't gotten a call. Unfortunately, when the call did come, it was bad news. The Petco store manager informed Allison that her beloved dog had been left in a drying cage for too long and had overheated and died. The drying cages are supposed to switch off automatically after 15 minutes, but somehow something went terribly wrong. A vet said Colby died of heat stroke. The store manager said Colby's groomer left early as she had to attend a graduation party, but it's unknown if human error or mechanical failure contributed to Colby's death. Allison said the shop staff were kind and sympathetic, however, she plans to pursue charges against the store in order to get justice for her beloved pet. What do you think? Unfortunate accident or criminal negligence? Dogs jump into hot spring and get boiled alive. Man badly scalded trying to rescue them. A Boise couple were enjoying an epic hot spring hike in Idaho's Salmon Chalice National Forest when their beloved dogs both dove into a boiling hot pool. On Thursday, August 20th, Patton and Katie McCorrick were hiking near the Panther Creek Hot Spring with their dogs Dexter and Dahlia when the dogs bolted. Unbeknownst to the hikers, drought conditions in the area had ceased the flow of cool water into the Panther Creek Spring, causing the temperature to rise. By the time the dogs dove in, the Panther Creek Spring had reached an almost boiling 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Patton McCormick reacted instinctively to his dog's shrieks and jumped in to save them. But as he attempted to pull the dogs out, Dahlia slipped from his grasp and died in the spring. Patton sustained second and third degree burns over half his body, but still walked to a campsite for assistance. Sadly, the other dog, Dexter, died of his injuries a day later. Patton, who has no health insurance, had to be rescued from the forest by helicopter and is receiving skin grafts in hospital. His family started a GoFundMe campaign to cover his medical expenses. You can find the link in this video's description.